Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the solution for the given partial differential equation, which is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. So from this, capital P is the term with small p, that is x square minus y z. And capital Q is y square minus zx and capital R is z square minus xy. To get the solution, we have to solve dx by capital P equal to dy by capital Q equal to dz by capital R. So now by substituting PQR, we get dx by x square minus yz then dy by y square minus zx and dz by z square minus xy. Now we are going to use the Lagrange's multiplier and two multipliers we are going to use. So now use Lagrange's multiplier One multiplier is 1 minus 1, 0 and another multiplier 0, 1 minus 1. So, we have to multiply this multiplier and write the new terms. So, I am going to write it here. So, when I multiply 1, we get dx by x square minus yz equal to dy by y square minus zx equal to dz by z square minus xy. Then we multiply this multiplier. So we multiply with numerator and denominator and here it is minus 1 I have to multiply with numerator and denominator and here I have to multiply with 0 both numerator and denominator. Now using this we can write the new ratio by adding all the numerators. So the numerator is dx minus dy plus 0 and here it is x square minus y z and this is minus y square and by taking the minus sign inside we get plus z x. In the same way let us use the another multiplier. So before that I have to write all the terms as it is for better understanding. So let me write all the terms as it is dx by x square minus y z dy by y square minus z x and d is that by z square minus x y and now the multiplier we have taken here is 0 1 and minus 1 so we need to multiply 0 with both numerator and denominator and 1 with both numerator and denominator for the second term and minus 1 with both numerator and denominator for the third term and the same way using the ratio properties we are going to add all the numerators so first term is 0 here it is dy by Actually, we are adding the numerator. So, dy minus dz. Even though we are adding there is a minus sign. And this is y square minus zx. And uh, there is a multiplication with the minus sign both numerator and denominator. So, it is minus z square. And with the minus carried inside, it is plus xy. So, we have multiplied the two set of multipliers. And now, we are going to equate these two terms then only it is possible in the next step to integrate. Without that, it is not possible to integrate. Now, taking this, which is dx minus dy whole division and I can group x square minus y square together. So, x square minus y square and we have plus zx. Let us write plus zx and this is minus yz. Just we are grouping it. In the same way, the next term is dy minus dz whole division. Let us group y square minus z square. And let us write the last term plus xy. Then minus zx. Now, let us factorize this using a plus b into a minus b. Here we can take z common. In the same way, this is a square minus b square form. And we can take x common here. In the numerator we can take d common, so it is d of x minus y whole division 
this is x plus y into x minus y and by taking z common z into x minus y the other side the d is common it is d of y minus z whole division y plus z into y minus z plus x into y minus z now d of x minus y whole division in the whole term we find x minus y common so when I take x minus y bracket open here it is x plus y and the second term z is remaining in the same way in this entire term y minus z is common so we are going to take d of y minus z whole division y minus z into this is y plus z plus x so in both the sides we find x plus y plus z we can cancel and after that we are going to integrate this term so integration of d of x minus y by x minus y equal to integral d of y minus z whole division y minus z this is of the form like integral dt by t which after integration we get log t so the first term becomes log of x minus y equal to this is log of y minus z and since both the terms are log instead of c1 we are taking the constant log c1 and now using the log rule we are going to combine the log terms the first term is written as it is this is log a plus log b is log a into b so it is y minus z into c1 by removing log we get x minus y equal to y minus z into c1 from this c1 is x minus y by y minus z so we got one constant now we have to choose another set of multipliers and proceed it in the similar way so before that i have to choose the multiplier before multiplying it so now use multiplier so one let's use x comma y comma z to multiply with each term and another multiplier by using multiplier 1 and adding the terms we are going to get a term from a algebraic identity so i am going to use 1 1 1 so let us copy this dx by x square minus y z so dx by x square minus y z equal to dy by y square minus z x equal to d z by z square minus x y so i copied the original expression now i am going to use the multiplier x so it means i have to multiply with both numerator and denominator here y and here y here z and here z now using the ratio property we have to add all the terms right so this becomes x dx plus y dy plus z dz whole division after multiplying this inside we get x cube similarly this is y cube and third term is z cube and when i multiply this here we get xyz even here it is xyz even here it is xyz so minus 3xyz i have written it directly by combining the like terms in the same way the original ratio what we have is dx by x square minus yz dy by y square minus zx dz by z square minus xy now i am going to use the ratio 1 it means i have to multiply 1 with both numerator and denominator it makes no difference it is same as the original term even after multiplying this multiplier but now i am going to add all the numerators and write it as a new ratio that gives dx plus dy plus dz whole division 
here it is x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x. I just written all the terms in a cyclic order. Now, as usual, like how we proceeded with the last time, I am going to equate these two. So here it is x dx plus y dy plus z dz whole division. We have an algebraic identity for x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z. I am going to write the identity directly here instead of copying the term as it is, which is x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z. This is algebraic identity for x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z and on the other side I am going to copy the term as it is but in the numerator I can take d common so d of x plus y plus z whole division these terms should be written as it is x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x now we notice these two terms are similar so we can cancel and then we can cross multiply. So, in the left hand side we have x dx plus y dy plus z dz equal to and this entire term gets multiplied with this term. So, here it is x plus y plus z into d of x plus y plus z. Now, we can go for integrating on both the sides like even in the last time we started integrating after we got the separated terms so this is of the form like t into dt this entire term is treated as t so after integration this is t square by 2 in the same way I am going to continue here but the other side it is x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z square by 2 and this is t square it means actually it is equal to so it is equal to x plus y plus z whole square by 2 and let's take the constant c2 now we can expand this term Or before that, intra C2, I can also take C2 by 2 so that it is possible for me to cancel all the common denominators. Constant can be anything, so I can take C2 by 2. It does not matter. Now, coming to this, this is x square plus y square plus z square equal to this expansion is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 times of xy plus yz plus zx plus c2. Now I can cancel x square, y square and z square on both the sides and this term can be taken to the other side as minus 2 times of xy plus yz plus zx equal to c2 and now I can carry this minus 2 to the other side so finally it is xy plus yz plus zx is c2 by minus 2. I will take this as b and our c1 as a. Now using this a and b we can go for writing the general solution. So now the general solution is of the form f of a comma b equal to 0. So, it is f of, here it is x minus y by y minus z. So, x minus y by y minus z, comma, and here it is x y plus y z plus z x equal to 0. So, we got the solution, general solution for the given partial differential equation using the Lagrange's multiplier method.